There's an old saying in racing, on a full moon night, wild things happen. Sumter Speedway racing under a full moon on Saturday, the Speedway hosting its final points race of the season. Extreme 4 goes first, Bucky DeBerry looking for two wins in a row, dominates the race, coming to the white flag, and DeBerry has a mechanical problem. Ben Hinson goes by and wins Extreme 4, his first career win. Like a dream come true, I've been waiting for this moment for the past two years that I've been racing and I've been going to dirt track all my life. And Elliot Vining wins the Extreme 4 championship. In Super Street, Cameron Holloway makes it two wins in a row, and Greg Murphy makes it two championships in a row. Mark McLeod dominates the crate race. Over in Stock V8, Terrell Holloway crosses the line first, but his car gets disqualified. Points leader Walter Anderson just needs to start the race to win the championship. He runs second, but his car also gets disqualified. Anderson's team learns that they receive zero points from the race, and Marty Horn earns enough points to pass Anderson in the standings. Horn wins the championship. Oh, it means a lot to win it this time because I've been trying for several years. But I've actually won more, but I've been trying several years to win another one. He was third. He's now first. Dalton Corsi wins the stock V8 race. The caution flag comes out a lot in the stock four race. One of those cautions for the driver who's second in points, James Murphy. Points leader Bubba Miller has no problems, however. He drives his blue 22 to its fourth win of the season and a championship. Adam Hill wins street stock and LJ Sonneman wins the street stock championship. Sumter Speedway's final points race of the season is in the books. Now the Speedway will stay silent until October 20th when a Lucas Oil Southern States Midgets come to town. Until then, reporting in Sumter, I'm Will Volk.